let's continue this, yeah? I forgot what I'm up to. Okay, ice, got it. How is this going? Oh. Okay, I mean... I don't know if there's even anything for me to do, really. At least... That'll be worth just looking. Wait, didn't I get... Oh no, but it's okay, it's okay. That just takes you to an extra sub-stage. Um, I think there's a second race I can take place in, so let's go do that. <laughs> oh yeah, the... What did I, what did I, what did I say? I'm a little... spent. <laughs> Some forgot to say the YouTube click thing. Thanks for clicking the video if you're watching later. Um... Pucci? Okay. Oh, well, that's already acquired. Where's the bird? I can't remember if this is unlocked right away or not. latest races have given me many a white knuckle. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to know. Where is that coward? Wait, he's not here? Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. I'm relieved that it's business as usual on the racing front. The grand prize for this race is... Okay, cool. Alright, so this is the harder cup. I got this. Or is it? Hang on, it still says 108. Maybe... Well, let's see. I'll do my best! Oh no, it definitely feels harder, like, the... I seem to be more competitive this time. Ah, oh, you dick. Why am I so far behind? <laughs> yeah, I have not done well. Dude. <laughs> Still fourth. Wow, I got destroyed. Okay, so this is the harder race.
What was- what did I do wrong? <laughs> like, I thought I erased pretty well. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> wait, wait, no. Ugh. Okay, as long as I could just keep this momentum. Go, 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 go! Go! <laughs> Got it. Guess it wasn't a fluke. You're the real deal. Take this. Alright, cool. That would have been nice if the mini car racing thing would have done the same thing. Okay, where is Bird? Oh, there's the bird. Okay. Shining in Snowtown. Okay. Atop a blustery art. Okay. Shining in Snowtown, I guess something... This is Snowtown. Well, I guess if it means literal shining or, like, metaphorical. <laughs> I think I went in here, right? Pretty sure I went in here. Yeah, okay, I've been in here. I did get both. Whoops. Oh. Okay, it's fine. Somehow salvaged. Okay, if I don't find that, I can just go to the next kingdom. I'm not too interested in 100%ing right away. this dude running a, a shop? He's running a shop and he's like, nah, you can't have this. Wait, what did it say? Do you have the grit to brave the call or I'm guessing no. Oh. He's saying I just have to strip now?
but you can't go hatless. I guess like that. Wow, only a serious tough guy would brave this cold with nothing but undies. You're a real beast, take this. Alright, cool. I'm changing. Shining in this town. Hmm. Not sure what that'd be referring to. Alright, screw it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and come back later. There's like an arch. You love those guys? Yeah. I like how puffy and derpy they look. They remind me of the Anuki. Do you need to play spirit tracks? Do you? I mean, okay, Spirit Tracks is alright, it's just you, saw, you just, you saw what happened to my sanity with that game. <laughs> just have a hairdryer handy. Oh, I didn't know you could get in this way. Huh. It's new. I had no idea you could get into the ship that way. There are three ways into the ship, I'm guessing through the ceiling. This kingdom is nice looking. I like this kingdom. It's very bright and colorful. So they're serving frost frosted cake at the wedding, are they? Not if we serve them a defeat first. One thing I didn't understand is like, 
what what the pink is that's boiling I feel like red would have made more sense but you know Hang on. Yeah, there we go. There's so many actions that I missed just because shaking is a thing. Ooh. Oh, I'm already going for this one. Almost messed it up. You love stewed tomatoes. Man, I saw this thing. One of those just short. Why? <laughs> it came with me. One of those short videos that's just like it shows a recipe and how to cook it, and it's just it always looks good. But this one, they got like a, a block of soft cheese. They cut holes in it. So like into six. They put garlic. And then they lined the perimeter with just tomatoes. And then they poured olive oil and herbs over it. And then just threw that in the oven. And then just dipped crusty bread in it. And it just looks so appetizing with the tomatoes. And the cheese mixing. Like, yeah. Basically that. And then... Just cheese as well, mixing with garlic. I know what I'm doing. Why am I complicating? All right. Oh, come here. There we go. That's what I wanted. Can't remember if you can. Yeah, you... Oh, there! Hey! <laughs> oh, damn it. I thought I could clear the gap. How about I just progress in the stage? Does that sound good? I think it sounds good. Instead of trying to do these things that are <laughs> never gonna work. Ha ha, we stole a whole boatload of this place's stupendous stew. For well, the boss is letting chow. I'm gonna head back up the volcano to finish off that stew after I'm done with you. Oh, I'm doing this again. I just love how his thing is just he throws up. What have I done? Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Did not fight that correctly. Ah, uh, fuck yeah. I 
Okay. We can skip it. <laughs> we know what's up. Oh, come on! I did not learn my lesson, did I? Come here. There we go. I'm just trying to rush it. There we go. Was that so hard? <laughs> It was red instead of pink, it would be making me hungry. Then I would just think of it as just a nice tomato soup. And I'd want some bread. Oh, there we go. Thought so. Under control. Don't. Hey. No. Oh crap. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that was greedy. <laughs> Oh, there's a moon behind. Oh. Don't! Don't, don't. Mario, stand still, stand still. There we go. <laughs> Under control. At least this will refill my health. I'm going for the other moon. Extra careful. No coins, all right? Doesn't look it. All right. remember this game being so silent sometimes. I always thought there was music playing constantly. B 
Big welcome to Mount Volbono. I am to the hugest flavors anyway. I'd show you around, but uh, things are kind of on fire right now. Oh, like literally? It's the the moon game. It's five now. I see a stack of paint cans and I just want to topple them over. Because I feel like... Secret! Okay, the tomato tins, but still. Like, someone's neatly... laid them, and here I am, just like, oh, this is a secret. <laughs> that actually looked kind of cool, like, most of them had a very similar trajectory in the air. If you find any turnips, plop them in my soup. Gold ones too. Oh yeah, especially the goldies. Turnips. Oh, hold on. Gotta plug this in. There we go. I see that. Oh. Yeah, see? Just making sure. I'm going to collect like another... 15 coins. One of these is going to have one. One of these is going to have one. Ah. Probably the one marked by the bird. Ah. Crap. No. Nah. Damn it. Mario, please get up. Oh, I can just do that. No? Well, I thought for sure I was correct.
What's <laughs> that? I think I kicked the can into the the soup. All right, please stop. Oh yeah, no here. There we go. Thought so. Turnips. So have I ruined it by adding hands? Okay, there we go. Golden turnip. The soup's probably really good. Just another way to do a water stage without doing a water stage, which I'm all for. Hey! I'm not judging this distance very well. There we go! I mean, there's this whole lower side that I feel like I should do first. Yeah. I'm gonna do it first. But I got the feeling that I'm gonna die if I don't hurry up. No? Okay. I thought maybe it was like a... Hey, hurry up. Climb. Oops. Mario, please! Oh. There we go. There's gotta be another moon. Yeah, over there. You can see it from here. Huh. Is it dumb of me to just wanna just jump? Okay, what's the real way to get over there? <laughs> Never mind. Trust your instincts. Oh, caught. Is this Mario Wonder? Nah, it's uh, Mario Odyssey. It's the one that came out 
seven years ago. I just never got to stream it for a long story. <laughs> just terrible internet when this game came out, so. It's been long enough that I've forgotten most of it. So Mario Wonder is excellent. Definitely worth playing that one. Heard this one's good too. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Just all the various things you can transform into, and they got the mustache as well. If I was to pick between the two, though, I think I like Mario Wonder more. That's just because I grew up with the Super Nintendo, and that game just took me right back to, like, being a kid and just what that game did. This one, yeah, it, it probably does the same for people that liked Mario 64, but I just never got to own that game as a kid. Also, where's the music again? <laughs> there it is. The nostalgia, yeah, exactly. Mario Wonder every stage just had me wanting to know what new thing it was gonna give me. And though this one has that, it's, I don't know, just personal preference at the end of the day. No riding Yoshi. I'm trying to remember... Is Yoshi in this game? I think he is. I think you just possess him. But it... Yeah, that would have been nice in Wonder. You can do it in multiplayer, but not... As a, as a stage thing. curious to see what they're gonna do for the next 3D Mario, because as scary as it might sound, this game is gonna be seven years old this year. How, how did that happen? Thing on the ground looks suspicious. Her eyes aren't old. <laughs> it's okay. That'll be me at the end of this month when I get even older. I saw this, um, this Australian comedian singing a song about, um, people that didn't grow up in the 90s. It's like, the whole thing is just called, You'll Never Know What It's Like. And the song, just every lyric to that song, I was like, oh man, I am, I'm just old. But just, yeah, could relate to a lot of it. I don't know if it'd get DMCA'd. It's a comedy song. It was a live performance, I don't know. I could try and play it. <laughs> but 
But the one that got me was like, you'll never know what it's like to go to a payphone and reverse call your mother and then when it says who's this from just get it to say hey it's me come pick me up at the station and then she gets the call and it's hey this is a collect call from hey come and pick me up at the station and of course she doesn't accept the charges you just save 30 cents so you take the 30 cents and buy yourself a bicycle or an ice cream cone at McDonald's. <laughs> it's just, that got me in particular. It's just like, bad. Particularly the whole, particularly the whole thing. With just, uh, I mean, saving money for an ice cream at McDonald's. I'm aging myself here. It's fine. Like, I'm in- I'm in my mid-30s. It's okay. I got nothing to hide. But people tell me that I do sound younger than what I am. We'll see how long that lasts. I started making old man stretching noises. It's only a matter of time where I'll just start sneezing and, like, my four neighbors will be able to hear me when I sneeze. It's just... It's all downhill once you hit 30. Nah. That's not the case anymore. That may have been the case, like, 30, 40 years ago when it was more realistic to have a bunch of your life sorted out by that age. More like 35. Well, I'm at, I'm at that age. I'm at 35. Soon to be 36, but... I can't say I've had too, too many moments where I'm like, oh, my body has given up on me. I'll, I'll tell you the most senior moment I've had, okay? So, when I moved out of home, um, my parents gave me a bunch of stuff. Utensils and whatnot. Amongst those utensils, there was this thing that I used to open cans. No, not cans, like jars, sorry, jars. Do you know when you get a jar of pickles or something and it's just really tough to open and you have to exert so much physical force? So, it was this thing that was just a piece of latex or something, but it was just a square, it was a piece of plastic, you put it on the jar, you turn it, it's like magic. Easy. So, at the last place I lived in before this one, or the one before that, um, somewhere along the lines when I moved out it got lost. So I wanted to replace it, I was like, man, I missed that thing. But I didn't know what it was called. So, I typed the description into Amazon, just like, you know, jar opener, plastic, latex, whatever. And the thing that comes up is what I'm looking for, except the description, like, says, jar opener for pensioners. I swear to God, it's like, that's, that's, <laughs> for pensioners. I did not buy it. I did not buy it. That, that, that's, that was it. Didn't buy it. Use a rubber band, that's smart. Yeah. Anyway, it's okay. I'm part of the generation who will be like 50 and they'll be on Twitch and it'll be normal. Maybe even older. Man, now I want some cheese. 
so if you use that, you can get the pension early. <laughs> just walk into the pensioner's office and just open up a jar and they're like, oh, they're using that thing for open jars. Okay, no worries. Um, I think I need to use Cappy. These are the enemies in Mario that just, I hate. Because ever since I was a kid playing Mario games, just, they always mess me up. No matter how old I get, it's still a sense of panic when I have to go up against one. So many choices here. Alright, well, I've opened the door, so let me do the. So I guess they're frying pan brothers, they're not hammer brothers. Help your Snowden. <laughs> no. Hey, Nectar. I mean, how badly? I can't imagine. I can't imagine that. That's like a whole different planet to me. Couldn't go out if you wanted to. So, if you open the door, would it be like a cartoon where just? An avalanche of, uh, of snow would just come in and fill up your house. Your door is under the snow. <laughs> Jeez. Well. I hope that doesn't remain uh, a problem for too long. What, do, what I mean, what do you what do you do in that situation? I, I don't know. What what do you do? I have zero experience in in this. Like, what what do you do? Do you wait it out? Like, at a certain point, do you, do you maybe panic? Like, the landlord has these snow things. Gotcha. I, I just can't picture it, it's just... If something like that happened here, it would truly be the end of days. It'd be a 24-hour news cycle. Am I... Slowly digging myself into danger here. My inner child won't let this go until. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I've exhausted absolutely every option. It's called a snowblower. I thought a snowblower would be something that blows snow as opposed to something that blows snow away. I guess in English it could mean either. It blows it away, yeah. But in English, like, it could mean either. They had a- I was watching Rick and Morty because I was catching up on it. They had a joke that was pretty much that, as... Rick has these... 
Morty asks for like a weapon to protect himself with a bully. So the whole joke is just him misinterpreting the English behind it. And he gets so tired over it. I was like, all right, this is a bully gun, right? You can get, you can guess what it's used for. And he's like, I don't have to explain this, do I? It's like, no. So Morty goes to the bully and he shoots himself because he thinks it's going to turn him into a bully. When just moments earlier, he, ha he had it the other way around. It's just, it's great. English is a dumb language. <laughs> It's like a lawnmower for snow, but it, I guess it does blow it away. I don't know, a snow clearer? Clears away snow, that, that doesn't seem ambiguous, right? It sucks it up and blows it. How, a snow sucker. <laughs> I mean, then at least, you know, okay, it, it does, it does that. You push it like a lawnmower. A, a snow cleaner. A snow vacuum. A snow mower. Just... Where is this last one? Have I messed this up? No, it's gotta be hidden amongst us somehow. I mean, they call a snowplow a snowplow because it plows snow, right? So I guess this thing does bl does it blow snow? Or would you- is the act of blowing snow the end result? I think the way it should be named is of the immediate action, right? So, the immediate action isn't blowing snow. There we go. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Access denied? <laughs> I'm guessing you tried to direct link to the image. You do not have permission to access Home Depot, outdoor, outdoor, power equipment, snow removal equipment, snow blowers. <laughs> Hello, we detect you're from a country that doesn't have snow. You're not allowed to have a snow blower. <laughs> why, why are you looking up snow blowers for? Might we suggest um, air conditioning units? Wait, what is this? What is this about? Oh, here. Yeah. Forget it, I can Google it. I, I can. That is something I am indeed capable of doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, I remember this. This is like, like a pool of lava. Can't believe Home Depot is blocked in other countries. Yeah, I don't know, maybe Home Depot wants to be like, you know, a secret to Americans. <laughs> we can't let the rest of the world know how good we have it with Home Depot.
Oh, well, that's just annoying. But I think I can piggyback off it. There we go. There's restrictions on the site. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe they do it so people don't try to per. Do they have, like, an online purchase thing? Maybe it's just a thing where they don't want people from other countries trying to buy things on the website. I would guess. Googled snowblower and the first thing that came up was a snow thrower. But that's still something where it's like a machine I would imagine that generates snow. I'm sorry, but that does not look... See that... I would call that a snow mower. It mows down snow. Or a snow clearer. Just looking at the picture of it, it's just, it clears, it clears snow. Like, take, take the logic of a hairdryer, it blows air, alright? The snow doesn't disappear or go into a container, it just chucks snow over to the side, right. So, call it a snow chucker. Snow clearer, I think, is probably... I mean, okay, what about a wood chipper? A wood chipper is functionally similar. You put wood in it, and it chips it away, and then it throws it. It yeets it. It's not a... it's not a... it's not a wood blower. You don't call it a wood blower. Ah! Like, the process is chipping wood. Here the process is clearing snow, is it not? Or yeeting snow. A snow yeeter. These are... yep. Some shower thoughts, pointless debates. But, it's not making the snow smaller, it's just moving it. Chipper is changing into pieces and then yeeting it, so snow yeeter. I I'd go with snow yeeter. But you know, to yeet is to throw, so snow thrower. Wait, what? DM me and I'll show you the snowy goodness. You deleted all your DMs? What? <laughs> what? That means you can't send me a photo. Oh. Right, because I disabled that. Unless we're friends. That's alright. I'm so confused there for a sec. I'm talking about Discord. I thought it was like a joke. Like, yeah, I'm gonna slide into your DMs and <laughs> give you snow pictures. Oh! All right, hold on. Oh my god, the mobile app is... Does anyone else not like the new Discord mobile app? Is it just me or is it, like, taking a turn for the worse when it comes to UI design? It used to be so much simpler. There we go. Alright, anyway. Done. You don't like using it? Yeah. 
I think the thing they did with like the navigation bar at the bottom is just it's not good. What what it was before, it was good. Just being able to access your your member list. Now you have to go into search and then it's like, oh, you want to search members? Like, no, I just want to browse my members. Stop it. Like before, it was just a swipe and it was all there. You can get Discord on phone. Yeah, you can. I mean, it's basically like a, a voice calling app, so... It's on everything. even tune into like screen sharing stuff it's pretty useful okay that's everything i think yeah i mean It's just one of those cases where people are used to using something a certain way and then you're doing such a significant change that it goes against muscle memory and so people hate it. It's like when Windows tried to get rid of the start button, like... Someone would have thought it was a brilliant idea, but like... It's just one of those things that you don't mess with. At least... You do it in a way where you kind of lit slowly lean towards that direction, but to do it all at once, it just, people hate it. Hey, throw the hat. Windows... <laughs> Windows 8 was honestly the reason I looked into getting a Mac. <laughs> it forced me to the dark side. And for work, I, I haven't used anything else since. But yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't just the, the start button thing, just everything being gigantic. It's like, oh, hey, we've designed this so then tablets, you know, look good. It's like, okay, cool. So why do desktops have to look bad then just to make tablets look good? I don't have a touchscreen. Why is my desktop like as if I have a touchscreen? Well, we wanted everyone to have the same experience, but it's not the same experience. I won't get down. Switch. I see. I completely forgot Mario turns into a slab of meat. Is it bad that this is making me hungry? Did the same rant when Windows 8 was launched. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the lead up to Windows 8, I just was like, come on, seriously? Surely they, they've received feedback that this is a bad idea. Just with a slightly more mocking tone, yeah. That was dumb of me. <laughs> you can jump around. Okay, that's pretty funny. I mean, I'm kind of the same, almost to the same level of making fun of Windows. Just, dude, uh, you know, Windows 11 is fine to use. It's not that the UI is bad. It's just the whole incessant thing that Microsoft have to, like, not leave you the hell alone. 
It's, it's, I swear, it just doesn't feel like my, my computer. It's just the whole, every few months, like, hey, let's finish setting up your computer. Oh, no, my computer was set up the day I bought it. No, 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 let's finish setting it up. All right, listen. We notice you're not using Edge as your default browser. Would you like to swap to Edge and use Bing as your search engine? No? Okay, no worries. Um, we have Office 365 as well. Did you know that you can get all these applications for a low, low price? We'll offer you like a one month trial. No. Oh, no worries. Well, did you know that um, you can back up your stuff to the cloud automatically using Windows 11? We give you some storage, but you can also purchase stuff for OneDrive to give you more storage. No. Oh. No worries. There's, there's one other thing. Ugh, what is it? It's like Office 365, OneDrive, Edge, Bing. There's one more missing. There's one more missing that they just pester you about every three damn months. Don't worry, we actually have been throwing everything on OneDrive for you. Good luck fixing that and transferring it back. Yep. And their most recent one is like, hey... We notice you're trying to remove OneDrive. Would you care to supply Microsoft with a reason as to why you're trying to remove OneDrive? The other day I had something pop up where it said, would you recommend Windows 11 to your fr friends? And I submitted that feedback form like a champ. I said no, because you guys won't l respect my decisions and leave me alone. Stop it. Stop asking me stuff. Like, you know, people give Mac and o Mac OS crap, and some of it is definitely warranted. But I'll tell you what, they're not at no given point have they done anything remotely close to what Microsoft has done. Like, in terms of just constantly asking you stuff, and to the point where, like, there's, there's damn ads in the start menu and, like, on the lock screen by default. Just, the best way I can put it is it just does not feel like my computer with Windows 11. It feels like it's rented. Like, oh, I didn't pay for this. I didn't pay for this operating system. So, you know, they're shoving ads in it and reminding me stuff. Oh, wait, yes, I did. When I built my computer, there was a charge for Windows 11. I think that's the worst part of it is like the operating system is still something you pay for ultimately one way or another. No need to recommend that everyone will be forced to have it. You're not wrong. <laughs> My brother wants to stay. sent a message where he's like, okay, so I woke up, woke up this morning and I have Windows 11. That's fucking cool. He was avoiding it. Like. And it just, it just did it. It just was like, nah. Don't worry, don't worry about your. Your desire to keep Windows 10. That goes out the window. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. Is that even a thing in, in Norway, that, that brand? It's not a brand here. I mean, I, I get it. This is definitely like some old man energy. Just like, things are changing and I don't like it. But I, you know, I stand by that if I was 17 right now, I would probably say the same thing. It's like when I was a teenager, I used to talk bad about social media and stuff. Like I was an old man. <laughs> so I'm true to who I am. You have no idea what it is. Uh, I just know it from from Family Guy. It's like some 
It's an old commercial. The Americans will be able to fill you in on what exactly it is. I was an old man already. Pretty much. I think... I think I became an old man the moment I got a job. But also, I guess because I've always had to act older than what I am, that was the other thing, was... Just... Man, since I started high school, I think? Anyway. Like... Dude, I was... I was... I had just turned 17 and was in university. It was just like... I, I had to act at least two years older than what I really was at all times. PCs as a service when <laughs> probably sooner than you think. They're already trying with a bunch of stuff, like they're trying Wi-Fi routers as a service. Printers, man, the printer thing is insane, just... I was reading that some of the latest Canon printers, they have like a license agreement. Where, um, you can only use Canon cartridges or some shit. <laughs> and they have a subscription service that provides those cartridges, and then if you don't subscribe to that service after a certain point, your printer just becomes this thing that is unusable. It's a good thing I haven't printed something in like over, I don't know, 15 years. I can't, I honestly can't remember the last time I've had to print something. Oh, okay, D had owned a printer. The last time I owned a printer, I was a teenager. Your printer is like that, you just took off the chips on your original cartridge and put them onto the off-brand cartridges and it works fine. Ha! <laughs> nice. I wonder how many millions of dollars they spent in R&D to, you know, launch that. And it's just defeated by swapping them over. That's great. Packerman. I mean, they can't try to make everything as a service, because that's the thing about that is, like, if everyone tries to do that, well, there's only so much money people have per month. So it just means things will, a certain thing will stop selling. I've already cut back a lot of my streaming services, like, I, I only have a couple now, and even then I'm probably going to get rid of Netflix. I don't have PlayStation Plus anymore, I got rid of that.
Is this the thing? Struggling to find stuff to watch lately. I've been watching more anime than anything else, surprisingly. The only, I guess, quote TV shows that I've been watching lately has just been like the Kitchen Nightmares and Hell's Kitchen stuff. <laughs> Most of my viewing comes from YouTube these days and Twitch. Any recommendations for anime? I just finished One Piece. That is long, but it is worth it, in my opinion. Well, okay, not finished it. Up to date with it. Like now, as it airs weekly, I'm, I'm up to date. But I'm also catching up on Demon Slayer now. Demon Slayer is good. Um, Doctor, Doctor Stone is another good one that I feel like I should catch up on. And of course I'm gonna sing JoJo's Bizarre Adventures praises, but, you know, that one's obvious. I think the thing I like about One Piece is just how far in advance some of the stuff is like thought out they'll introduce characters and ideas and then in a in an arc way later it'll be like oh wow they set this up like all the way back then so things have continuity and meaning and it's pretty good admittedly there are times where like it, it can be a little bit there's a bit of filler, but it's not egregious. It's not like Dragon Ball egregious. Yeah, I'm at the uh, entertainment arc for De Demon Slayer, so. We've got that and the latest arc to get through. But One Piece is like, it's an investment. <laughs> I spent six months, maybe more, getting, going through them. They're a good watch, honestly. So if you want something lengthy, it's up, what, 1100 episodes, thereabouts. If you want something shorter and more manageable, like JoJo's good. Just have to give it a chance, because the first arc admittedly is like, I wouldn't say slow, it's just the character and what it was going to be just wasn't fleshed out properly. Then it, it picks up like insanely quickly. Outside of that, I don't know, I don't think I have, like, any hidden gems.
my anime curation is honestly off recommendations, <laughs> to be honest. Someone tells me to watch something, and then I hear it enough times, I'll definitely watch it. Did I mess up by coming this way? I think I did. Whoops. Oh, impatience has gotten me killed! Okay, I'm fine. Nice camera. the heart. There it is. Come here. Oh! Oh yeah, right. This is another vomitorium. I think the other thing I do from time to time is just watch older movies, just because newer movies... It's becoming more and more rare. Increasingly rare for me to be like, oh, I want to watch this new movie. So I've been going back and watching older ones. There's a couple that are on my list that I want to watch, but they're not on a streaming service I have. One of them being Chef. I heard that's a good movie. Perspective. Okay, there we go. Get up. There we go. Oh, and the other anime that my brother tells me about that I haven't checked out, Jujutsu Kaisen. He's been singing that one's praises, so I haven't checked that out. But it's on, it's on my to-do list. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Oh, we're not done here yet. Got a bunch of different things to do. Oh, the cannons are here now. Oh, never mind. Okay, I can go buy the clothing. Pizza, pasta. I can wear a clown outfit.
It's freezing. <laughs> Talk to Nikta about freezing. We spent like half an hour talking about snow... Snow eaters. I'm gonna call it a snow eater. It is a snow eater from now on. I don't care what, what it's really called. <laughs> that is the name. Yep. Oh, yeah. I sent me a photo. Hold up. Ugh. Ugh, this, this new Discord app is just. Oh my god. That is insanity. <laughs> Well, because a snowblower implies that it's a machine that creates snow. At least I think so. What it really does is it throws snow. It throws snow. It repositions snow. Oh. Like a clown chef. Sanity. Unfortunately, I can't do the same thing when it's super hot. It's just to convey how hot it is. I guess if I take a video of me putting like a piece of meat on the ground and it just sizzling, that might be enough. Not that it's hot here at all. This summer's been very mild. We haven't really had any extreme heat at all. It's been, it's been all right. We can egg on the tarmac. I mean, people have cooked steaks. If you were to take, um, like a spare kitchen tile and put it outside, you could probably cook stuff out there. When it gets that hot. Not that it has here. Get this. Hey! Oh, there you are. I see it. I like the idea of snow. And, you know, I prefer winter to summer. It's like plenty to do to stay warm, and at least so much you can do to cool down. But also, just the clothing and just having something warm when it's cold. It's, it's a nice feeling. Especially because I like stuff like ramen and stuff, and ramen in winter is just, ugh, makes me happy. I don't know. I don't know if I could survive, like, a real winter. Time you hate snows if you're in a hurry. That makes sense. You have to plan ahead. Guess let's have a look around. Grew up in Michigan and 20 years plus of snow. Don't miss it. Winter is terrible. <laughs> Okay, that's fair. 
But if you were to take the extreme of winter versus the extreme of summer, which would you take? I mean, we know that on average, summer's probably better. But if you were to say one extreme day, would you take extreme heat or extreme cold? summer at least at night you can go on walks and stuff okay that is true as hot as a day might get in summer but at night time it does do, well it's, it doesn't completely cool down if it was like an extreme winter you wouldn't be able to go out the only time we can't go out here is like, I don't know, the whole country's on fire. <laughs> but that doesn't happen that often. Like there's, there's, uh, there's fires that engulf like a land area the size of the country of Belgium. That's when you can't go outside. I think that's cold. You can put more clothes on, put more heat, and jump around a little. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at, is like... Ultimately, acclimation also comes into play, right? But... When things get disgustingly hot, it's just you're just sitting there when it's disgustingly hot. But when it's cold, you just layer up and have something warm. I'm talking about like an indoor scenario here. Outdoors is a whole other thing, right? I don't know. To each their own. How do I get to the very top here? Good book, cocoa, blankets, fireplace. Yeah, the coziness of winter is the, the, the appeal. But I mean, summer has its pros as well. It's like barbecues, beach. Ice cream. Man, having a refreshing beverage. Like, it's just more satisfying. Man, that, that iced tea I had on that hot day, oh, it's just so good. Whoops! I'm an idiot. I tried to do the wrong thing. How do I get up there? Come here. If it's that hot, do you have access to a pool? Um, if it was that hot, you'd want access to an air conditioner, not a pool. Unless it's an indoor pool. When it gets that hot, people just stay indoors and just air conditioner and you kind of get through it. But when it's nice otherwise, just, yeah, go, go to the beach or you go... Go to a pool. When, it, when we're talking about the temperatures we're talking about, like, you wouldn't want to be <laughs> near a pool if it's outside, because you're just going to be in basically an oven. Never experienced that hot. Haven't lived. <laughs> Getting. I mean, again, it's, it's just acclimation, it's... You, I am used to it. I can survive in it. Do I enjoy it? Not really. 
how do I get this back to... Have I messed up? There's a... Oh, oh no, did they destroy it? All oh, these dickheads destroyed it. Okay, never mind. Hate Hammer Brothers. They took too long, I hesitated. Is it gonna respawn or do I have to? Eh. I can still climb this, right? This is where the mate was. Okay, I thought maybe there'd be like a secret moon. Oh, I see. I need to go hijack a... <laughs> On the topic of temperatures, I, I learned something that just further makes me go, what, man, Fahrenheit just sucks. So, you know, I'll, I'll do it in a sec, hang on. Oops! Oh! Survive, please. Okay. Um. All right. So check this out. Um. Okay. So forty Fahrenheit converts to four degrees Celsius. Okay. Forty Fahrenheit converts to four degrees Celsius. What would negative 40 Fahrenheit be in Celsius? That's... You follow the logic of like, well, 40 Fahrenheit is a certain temperature. It's just so bizarre. But I guess because of just the way it scales is, is strange. Anyway, so 40, 40 Fahrenheit is 4 degrees Celsius, but then negative 40 Fahrenheit it becomes negative 40. So it's like, it's... A, it comes on a completely different scale. I don't know, I'm just so used to numbers just... ...being multipliers of 10 and multipliers of 100, because that's what metric is. It's always the same. And just to have something that's just so inconsistent in terms of converting... I don't know. But I guess if you're used to it, you're used to it. Yeah, Celsius I think is neat. You just treat it as a per percentage. It's zero is freezing, a hundred is boiling. When it comes to the temperature of water, it's like anything under zero, water is frozen. Anything that approaches 100, 
it's boiling, and then the hundred is like it's steam. That makes more sense. Yeah. I think it does as well. But, you know, th uh, that one... Th th you could say Fahrenheit, you could understand if you work it out enough. The one that I will not stand down on um, is just on, on measurements. Is just... Metric is so much easier when it comes to measurements. And the fact that... When it comes to miles, there's like a standard mile, a nautical mile, and a mile. All are different. And then the way you convert from one unit to the next is just... It's a weird calculation. And then if you want to go from, like, weight to volume... So, like, one kilo is equal to a liter in terms of, like, volume and weight and all that and mass. But they're interchangeable. I would not know how to, like, convert... I mean, what's... what's the unit... Pounds to, like, what... what do you measure... liquids in? <laughs> in Imperial, I don't even know. Ounces? No. Yeah, ounces. Got it. Yeah. Ounces. So, is there an easy way to convert, like, how much one ounce of liquid would weigh? I just love that it's one-to-one, -one. it's just... You don't even have to think about it. Oh, right, Yoshi's house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked seeing this, but it needed to be colorful. Imperial ounces is different to US ounces. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Oh, what have I done? Really? That's not a secret? <laughs> I get punished for falling down the chimney. I mean... I don't know what I was expecting here. This is cool though. Oh man, just seeing this world visualized as like modern. They know how to nostalgia hit here. The other one I've seen is, like, alter alternate calendar systems. And those ones just make me think that our calendar system is, like, a little inefficient. There's one where it's... I, I think it's... If every month had 28 days, then every month would have 28 days. Because then you wouldn't need to do, like, the whole thing we currently do. And then... Every date would be on a set day, so, you know, like, the first of every month would be on a particular day. It would all line up neatly. I'll have to, like, double check, but there's, there's some system where it's like, oh, every month has the same number of days and they all line up neatly. But then you might always get screwed on hollows, but you would work around that, no? You could move it. So then you could guarantee the holiday falls on a certain day. In Australia, we have replacement days as well. So, like, if a public holiday falls on a certain day... So, like, let's say there's a public holiday that falls on a Sunday, then the following Monday is the replacement holiday. So then workers don't get screwed. So we have that system here. Some companies won't give you an extra day off of the holidays on the weekend. 
can't say I've come across that much here in Australia, but I'm sure it happens. Like Easter. Oh, with Easter, yeah, that's definitely not the case here. The replacement holiday is respected and... I mean, even in the crappy fast food job I had, they respected the replacement holiday. Is it just one, or is there another one? Careful. I feel like I'm looking for a secret that doesn't exist. Bank holidays here are on Mondays, except Good Friday. And Christmas. The only holidays they honor that on a weekend is Christmas and New Year's. Right, man. Go! I guess I... <laughs> I'm kind of privileged in that regard, then. Yeah, not here. I mean, there's, there's a joke where, like, no matter what time of the year you talk to an Australian, they have a public holiday soon. Or a day off soon. It sounds good. Eh. The ones I like talking about is when I get a day off for, like, a football game and a horse race. This is, uh, there's historical significance behind them, but when I phrase it that way, it's just... The look of disbelief is great. Good. The football one is because the sport originated in my home state. So that's why we have a day off. Why did I do that? A day off for a football game. I was trying to get up there. I'm just going to finish the stage and not complicate things. You get eight public holidays. I know we have more than that. I know we have more than that, for sure. All right, you know what? I'm going to start. Uh, public holidays 2024 Victoria. So the first one, I already know what it is. Okay, here we go. So the first one is New Year's Day. That's a, that's a given. That's January 1. Australia Day, January 26th. Labor Day, March 11. Good Friday, March 29. Saturday before Easter Sunday on the 30th of March. Easter Sunday, 31st of March. Easter Monday, 1st of April. Anzac Day, which is our Veterans Day. That's the 25th. The King's Birthday, which is a rebranded one. That's on June 10. The Friday before the Grand Final, the 27th of September. Melbourne Cup. November 5, Christmas Day, 25, Boxing Day, 26 of December. How many was that? <laughs> oh, what am I doing? That sounded like more than eight. Especially amongst Easter, like, the Easter ones are crazy. Wait, what the hell is this? There's no anti-gravity. Oh, no, I see, I see. I've, I've messed this up. Oh, just got it. 
the Easter Easter period is great. I take one or two days off work, and it's basically like I have a whole week off. It's a great time of year. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Ah, the salt is coming out now. I'm sorry if I'm yelling loudly. This is my birthday coming up. Uh, yeah, it's the day. Ah, it's the day after Australia Day. So Australia Day is on a Friday this year. So it's on a weekend. I don't usually take the day off for my birthday. Unless it's, unless Australia, Australia Day is on the Thursday, because then, of course, I'm going to take the Friday. But otherwise, it's just, it's just my birthday. Unless it's a milestone birthday, I, I'm not massive on it. You know... I doing anything nice for it? Uh, my parents were uh, are still overseas. They're coming back in a few days, so I'll probably just catch up with my family and brothers. That's about it. But otherwise, nah, not really. I might just get like a nice meal or something for myself that day. But other than that, not a big thing. I feel like an idiot. I do want to catch up with a friend, so hopefully that ends up happening! Jeez. <laughs> I can't have a conversation and do this kind of stage. Yep, good. The reason just invokes such a visceral reaction is just this is just reminding me of Super Mario Sunshine and ugh. That game. The first time I played it. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No, Mario, get up! <laughs> get up! What are you doing? Okay. Okay! Ah! Damn it. I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Starting now. What? <laughs> oh my god. I think I, I'm in, I'm in a tilt right now. Give me give me ten seconds. Okay. Oh, what? Why? Why? Stop. That's not the move I want to do! The fact that it just sends you running. Oh, 
How many years have I been playing platformers for? I, I, I don't remember a time where I didn't play Mario games. <laughs> Let's put it that way! Honestly, my earliest, earliest memories, I will be in a scenario where I was playing Mario games. This is why this genre, like, it, I could be playing the Souls games and it'll take six hours of me trying something over and over again to get to the point where I'm, like, making these horrendous sounds. In Mario, it, it takes, like, ten minutes. Because I just know I can do better. Can it just do it? <laughs> they give my stream personality. <laughs> <Okay. sighs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Just do it. Yeah, I also learned like last night that so the way people find some of my content on YouTube is by looking for ASMR. <laughs> like they do this YouTube summary thing, right? I I'm I'm not joking. Every week they send you a summary of like how your videos did, and so you know I. It's like, oh, these videos have done well. So I clicked on one of them to just look at the analytics on it, as you, you're supposed to do as a good content creator. And then one of the videos, as far as, like, search terms went, one of them was ASMR and the other one was ASMR BF, which I can only assume is boyfriend ASMR, which I did not know existed until yesterday. Hey! How can- how can anyone- how can anyone listen to this just as, like, a form of ASMR? Start whispering in all my streams from now on. I don't have the microphone for it. But that being said, there was one time- <coughs> There was one time where I lost my voice, and I was really sick, so I couldn't work. And so I decided to stream some Diablo. And as a joke, I was like, okay, well if I... I could not speak at a normal volume, I had to whisper. So I had to turn up my microphone, and I was whispering the whole time. So as a joke, I labeled my stream as ASMR, when Twitch had that old labeling feature. And then the very next day, they replaced it with tags. So my stream for a while was permanently labeled as ASMR. So when you would go to these websites that like track stream stats, my stream was just tagged as, well, labeled as ASMR for like six months before they replaced it with the correct tags. Frustrated screaming ASMR. I don't. I mean, I guess when it comes to the internet, there's like, you know, there's an audience for everything. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fall deeper into the abyss. Make noises!
What was I talking about? <laughs> I don't remember the last thing I was talking about. Oh god. How my life goal is to be a popular ASMR streamer. <laughs> Given how many times I get told about my voice, I could probably make that a thing. But would I want to? No. Hello, it is me, your boyfriend. I am here to provide you with some ASMR. Ah! Do you like the sounds of my voice? Do you know what I mean? It's just... Uh, how can anyone do that? <laughs> Don't fight the analytics. It was... It wasn't a high percentage. It was like single digit percentage, but still concerning enough that like... Hmm. Did not know that that existed. Yeah, that... It was like a very clip-worthy 15 minutes. <laughs> Thanks for the clip. I'll be sure to add it to the channel, because now I've been... Honestly, I've, I've been working on content on my off nights, so... Everything gets content now. Because it shows what videos they watch for the search. It shows what videos recommend you, your, well, your specific video. And then it also search, search terms. I need to deliver the golden turnip. I just need to plan out a, a route. How am I going to get it back? Oh, no, I see. I think. Maybe. I guess, yeah, this is the way. I get up there the first time. I feel like that's what I did, but it didn't work that time. Just you wait, like I'm gonna be playing some Souls-like games very soon. And you just watch just my composure compared to this. See what I mean? I, I promise you I'm not doing this on purpose. Catastrophic. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Grab the gold one. Oh 
go go watch me play like Elden Ring. And you'll see just how how long it takes for me to even get remotely close to making the, the kind of noises I make here. I, I'm almost positive that even in Elden Ring I didn't make some of the noises I make. It takes just like the boss like Melania to do that. Well, I got the artwork. Island of salt floating in lava. That's not like a... A description of like how I feel sometimes. <laughs> the noises make for a funny stream. Thank you. I don't want it to be a thing where, like, people expect that every time. <laughs> as long as it makes people laugh and it's entertaining, then that's the best I can hope for. I need to visit the salt because I did get all the coins. try and make up for the fact that I didn't play any games that made me like absolutely infuriated <laughs> last year. Last year was just honestly pretty chill in terms of the games that I've played. After this one, uh, that's a good question. I guess I'll probably play the Warrior DS game just because then I can start working on a video about the series, which I want to do. But part of me is like tempted to just go the next Yakuza game so I can get to the new one, but I feel like not not enough time has passed. We did only play it, well, five in December, so. There's also God of War Ragnarok, which I, uh, it's just, I've been meaning to get to it. It just keeps getting pushed back. I have, it, it, it is uh, like on the top of my pile of games. It is there. I just haven't gotten around to it. But let's see, other games I have planned. Hollow Knight. I definitely want to play Hollow Knight this year. Because I would hope Silk Song is coming out. And still on the fence about it, but like I I almost feel like putting myself through Crash Team Racing. The story mode of it, at the very least. But I, I need I need to really be prepared for that one. Oh 
There's a few retro games as well that... Just... I'm trying to balance stuff out between... Stuff that I can probably make videos about and stuff that I'm just playing for the sake of playing. Am I gonna play the Peach game when it comes out? Yeah, that one looks interesting. It looks like a Kirby game, so... I'm down for that. Being yeah, hey, hey, up there. Yeah. Good. Good. Yep, that was a, that was an intelligent decision on my part. It'll be interesting to see what they do to it. I think it's time we leave this kingdom. I am content with what I've gotten. Yeah, I'll, let me open up my Steam library. These are titles that I have that I in spirit want to look into, but might, you know, this is like, fine print is, I want to get around to him, but might not necessarily get around to him this year, but like, at least the spirit of it is there. Um, so, Blasphemous 1 and 2. Hang on. Now we can head to Bowser's Kingdom. Oh, wait. That can't be good. Yes. Blasphemous 1 and 2. Crash Team Racing. Um, the Messenger, Katana Zero, Celeste. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Just keep going down more. There's some that I won't mention, because it's like, eh. I feel like I missed one. Yeah, Hollow Knight. I don't think I said that one. I do kind of want to do Hades again, but I'm not sure. It depends how far away the new game is. So, I mean... Loosely those, and I did get the Ace Attorney collection, which is... It was on sale. It was a pretty good price, so I picked them up, and I've always heard good things about Ace Attorney. So... Um, in terms of retro games, I mean, I want to do Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario, and the Thousand Year Door remake when it comes out. And then there's some Sonic the Hedgehog games, which I've picked up as well. There's, there's just a lot. There's also the Mario and Luigi series. I would like to play the next game in it, but I think... Given Thousand Year Door... We'll see how far away Thousand Year Door is. If it's not that far away, then... I won't bother yet, but if it's... In the second half of the year, I might squeeze in, like, a... Another Mario and Luigi game, because Superstar Saga was a lot of fun. Why well, didn't you know it? The Odyssey's broken again. Of course it is. I can't change outfits. 
That is funny that he gets covered in soot. But, I mean, that's about it. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Again, that's just what I'm thinking. Maybe it'll pop up. But, yeah, there's the warrior game in the middle. And then there's a bunch of... I guess you call them homebrew games, but games that have gotten, like, physical releases. They're, like, new games for older consoles. So I got a few that I want to check out. But then I can do more content! Or at least give it a go. I don't know. Well, content where I'm talking about stuff and it's not just, hey, upload a stream or clip that video. In a way, it's stuff that I should- if I really wanted to- Hang on. It's stuff that I probably should have been doing since the beginning. But it's just... You see, there was a gap of, like, three years where <laughs> motivation was not exactly the highest. We shall not talk about those three years. You had a nice time, what, during the pandemic? <laughs> Hang out in the streams. Well, I'm glad that the stream helped in that regard. All right, though. Like, I, I don't know what I would have done if I wasn't streaming during that period. Definitely would have been a lot tougher. Why am I grabbing that? Like, I should conserve that. There we go, that's better. Yeah, it's not so much like a New Year's resolution thing, because I did start doing it last year, but I do want to try more at just making things. I think I can't do this in one go, I have to... Oh, going for it! <laughs> Got it. I thought I'd have to wait. That's all good.
When they said bows as well, I didn't figure it would be this. Like, this doesn't feel very bows as well, like, you know? Hang on, see if there's anything here. There's coins down here. Oh. Oh, come on! <laughs> Is this the end there? No, no, no. A little bit to go. Plus, I'm also going for all the moons, so at the very least. I still gotta go revisit the other kingdoms and grab the things. Right now, I'm just going through the kingdoms in a manner where, you know, I'll look, but I'm not spending so much time. Okay, so there was a pretty straightforward way of getting this, and I opted not to do it. So tired. Is this a bad idea? Doesn't look like it's going to be causing any more harm. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Just flipped off. I don't know. I just thought, oh yeah, climb on a dragon. Looks cool though. Um, there's a way to know. Nah, see, there's there's others. There's others. There's definitely stuff to do. One of them is probably you won't know until you get one of the images that reveal it. But there's probably at least one other moon that we can do while we're here. Just have to look carefully. There it is. Right in front of me. see. But that's doable. So I thought. Bad idea. Good. Yeah, intelligent. I've been playing platformers since the age of five. Or four or three, I don't know. But like, earliest memories. Stop. 
Hey, Cammy, how's it going? Try again. Oh. One. I thought that was going to be like a secret moon. I'm honestly surprised there hasn't been one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Gamer, why are you so bad? Why don't you stop being bad and start being good, eh? Just tempting fate here. You know what? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is gonna be the same thing. I can tell. But. It's possible that this could be legit. No, okay. But surely I can still... <laughs> yeah, okay. There is still a secret moon. I need to go back. There's, there's still another moon to do. Lazy reset. Uh, I'm doing all right, just chilling. Not really a lot to say. It's like the middle of the week now. Is this no? That's death. Okay. So where is this branching path then? Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. There we go. Aha! And I mean, I... I mean, I guess just go out and do this properly. I could probably climb it without doing this, but I don't want to. That should still work, I think. No, it's not quite high enough. Hey, all right. So that just leaves one more, I'm pretty sure. That one, I would imagine, would be a photo screenshot thing reveal. Oh, yeah. This is, this is fine. 
There we go. All right. Now I can leave. <laughs> Unless the dragon's got another one for me. goes back. The controller is vibrating. Ow. <laughs> Have I not learnt my lesson? I'm just exhausting every option. I don't know. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm sure I'll figure it out later. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. This is what I wanted to do. Oh, you know what? It's probably that cube gets enabled after you're done with story. It's most likely the cube. Pretty cool dragon. It's cool. It's definitely unexpected. Could have just fought Bowser. Dragon's alive, it's just tired. I tired it out. I talked to it, it said, oh, I'm tired, so very tired. <laughs> I mean, maybe it could have died afterwards, who knows? Maybe tired was just its way of saying, oh, it's dying. Oh, I forgot about this kingdom. I completely forgot about this kingdom. Yeah, this is Bowser's castle. I thought the previous era is like the castle, but this makes sense. Alright. Saving. Well, this is where I'm gonna leave it for tonight. It's a good stopping point, start of a new kingdom. So I'll pick this up again tomorrow. Anyway, if you've reached the end here and you are watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video and hope you enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, easiest way to do so is hit the like button or watch me play other things. Either way, it does help out a lot. So yeah, appreciate you if you do that. But otherwise, enjoy the rest of the day. See you later, YouTube.